Hey, what's up guys? My name is Praetorian and welcome back to Total Warhammer as we are playing with the Empire. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump into it today, guys. Uh, I believe we did everything we need to do here. Uh, so let's go ahead and enter turn. Um, so if you guys recall from the last episode, uh, we finished off the orcs over here. So they have been completely defeated. Don't have to worry about them any longer. Uh, and it seems that we do have some kind of offer from Matonia. They want to do the trade agreement again. You're the ones who canceled it. Yeah, I will accept that. I'm not even going to ask you for money, which I probably could get money from them. Uh, I don't know why they turned that down. Uh, but yeah, we definitely need more money here. Uh, so why not go from 1500 to 1000 real quick? It's weird. Uh, so it looks like Bretonia have uh, uh, created a confederation with uh, one of their other states here. I don't really, I don't even though I'm playing as Bretonia, I don't really remember where all these guys are because I have annexed most of them. I think there's only one duke that I haven't annexed yet. So, uh, and he refuses. It's the one over here somewhere, this guy. Oh, the guy that they just annexed. Okay, so that's the guy who's just refusing. He's being a dick. Um, declare heresy. Uh, Siege of heresy is suspected in one of our settlements. The Grand Theogonist uh, has released a witch hunter and charged him to root out the chaos of taint. So we got a witch hunter. All right, well, that's kind of cool. Uh, we're going to have to take a look at him here in a Oh, we got him up right here. Might as well look at him now. Uh, so just looking at witch hunters do... Um, it seems that they they cleanse corruption, they they damage wall. Okay, they mostly seem to do what everybody else does, um, what all the other agents do. Uh, I'm imagining they have their own special skill tree though, which is what makes them unique. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and wait for that. Yeah, let's just go and take a look at them. Uh, yeah, they have their own little uh, unique skill tree here. All right, well that's kind of cool. All right, well um, yeah, we'll have to make use of them. I think we're gonna use him as an agent rather than as a you know a hero in our army. Um, we'll use them to like assassinate uh, bad guys and stuff. That's exactly what we'll use them for. Uh, we could also use them for uh, changing up because um, I believe he, yeah, he cleanses vampire corruption here or chaos. Uh, I wonder if we have. I don't think we have any. Well, we do have a little bit here. Probably wouldn't hurt to leave him here in this main uh, state here for a little while. Um, and over here we have yeah zero and zero. Oh wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. So we'll leave him here uh, just for a little bit. Um, Let's put him right here, I guess. I believe he can deploy here, and that should give him some benefits. Modifies the success, the success chance of enemy hero actions. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we'll leave him there for now. Just let him, uh, uh, even though we don't really need that benefit. But, yeah, we'll we'll let him, uh, you know, try and get rid of some of that uh, chaos corruption that we have there. Uh, so, let's go ahead and continue moving this guy. Um, what we we had thought about doing, oh, the goblins have been destroyed. Excellent. Maybe that will be in our world events here. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it looks like that they have destroyed the goblins there. That's awesome. That means that we can now concentrate on uh, conquering the uh, vampire counts. Yeah, I think that's exactly what we're going to do here. Let's wait until we get our army over there. Um, yeah, we obviously don't want to, uh, you know, uh, declare war when our army is on the other side of the map right now. Uh, it's going to take us a little bit of time to get over there. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We will put ourselves into the march mode. Where is that? March. So that we can move a little bit further here. Uh, get into our main territory. Uh, and then we're going to start um, trespassing. Yeah, I know. Got it. Uh, and then we're going to start recruiting also as well. Um, we will probably, you know, we're going to need this army to do that. Uh, to move some of these units over to this army uh, so we can get a few more uh, uh, new units here because we actually have I can't seem to see him with him because he's in that mode uh, we now have access to Empire Knights so I would like to get at least one of those if not two um, they're fairly expensive so I don't know if we'll be able to or not uh, but yeah we're gonna get ourselves some Empire Knights uh, probably next turn if we have the money uh, we do have money to do something so why don't we do something then uh, we're going to I think we're gonna upgrade this in fact yeah, I think that would behoove us. Let's go ahead and get that upgraded. Uh, we don't really have any more money, so we're just going to have to hold out for now. Um, I wonder if we can recruit something here, uh, or if we even should. We have 11 units. I wanted to get it up to 12 because we do have this Beastman army here that is most definitely a threat. Uh, so having you know a large army here would probably be helpful. Um, you know what? I kind of want to go ahead and... You know, we're going to recruit one, one unit. Uh, I'm not sure who we're going to recruit yet. Let's just see what we have uh, going here. We have five infantry units, uh, three ranged, and then the two ranged cavalry. Okay, um, so I feel like another infantry would probably be the best thing for us to get over here. Since we don't have any spearmen of any sort, um, I think we're going to go with the spearmen shields. I mean, I would prefer to have the the, how, um, with the halberdiers, 
Uh, we don't have access to that. We'll just get this guy. It's fine. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get us up to 12 units over there. And then I don't think we're going to build any more units uh, over there for right now. And I think that's all our money. So we can go ahead and end our turn here. Uh, are we able to ask anybody else to confederate with us? We're going to have to take a look at that. So, Bretonia, they have some sort of offer. They want us to join the war against uh, Marienburg. Hmm. All right. Well... No, <laughs> I don't know why I would do that. I think we have a treaty with them of some sort. Yeah, an alliance with them, uh, but it's a defensive alliance, so we don't have to. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think we're going to. I think we're just gonna have to reject that. There's really no reason for it. Um, they're gonna be conquered soon anyway, so we could have uh, declared war, and it probably would have been. You know, there's not too much negative consequences to that, uh, or probably not anyway. I guess, I mean, we're joining a foreign power against our own country. I suppose there could be some negative consequences. Uh, so these two factions resolved the differences and now resolved the peace treaty. So that means nobody is over here. No, we still have uh, the Nordland over there. We got a per population surplus in uh, several of our, of our states here. All right, um, let's go ahead and get this guy moving. Uh, we're going to have to turn him off probably of March. Let me just see here. Yeah, you know what? It's probably not going to matter, in fact. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So what we'll do, we let's just go ahead and move this guy over here. And I think we could we could just recruit. Yeah, this is going to take two turns. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, so it, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, bring this guy over here then. And in next turn, they will kind of switch out here. Uh, switch the units out is what I'm thinking. Against yeah, teachers. that's what we'll do. They'll just kind of sit there for right now. Um, we could probably... No, he can't. He can't change over. So we're not going to be able to recruit anybody else. Uh, do we have the money to recruit somebody with uh, this army then? Let's just take a look here. Uh, what would we want to get? I don't think we really need anything else uh, here uh, for, for our army. I think our army is pretty much good on all the rest of these things. I just kind of want to get the knights. Um, so yeah, I think what we'll do... Didn't I tell him to recruit knights? Did I not? Yes. Oops, my bad. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and recruit two two units of knights here. I think that would uh, be wise. Uh, and that'll be all of our money, so let's just go ahead and end our turn here. Uh, and yeah, like I said, um, it looks like... Did, are they declaring war on me? Let me just see here. They have ended their non-aggression pact with you. I didn't even know I had a non-aggression pact with the vampire accounts. When the fuck did that happen? Okay. Yeah, I do not remember that happened. Did I agree to that? Did the game? I don't think the game started out with that. Um, so yeah, they're gonna ask us again. I guess they're gonna keep bugging us on this. Well, I'm not. I'm not joining that war. Um, I just don't see any reason to. I guess it might give us an opinion boost with them, but we already have quite a few things kind of, uh, you know, giving that opinion boost. So I don't really think that it's all that important. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take these guys out of march mode here. There's no really no reason for them to be in that right now, uh, and we can't really recruit anybody. We're just gonna wait until these guys finish recruiting. Then we're gonna be switching out our, our units here. Um, probably give them a few different ones. Can we get any units of renown? No, we cannot. Well, let's see if we can build anything before we end the turn over here. Let's see if there's anything good that we can get. I think we can get yeah, we can get the coal there, uh, which would be useful. Um, also, I, I I've heard, seen this in the comments that what we need to do is build the guardhouse and the city watch in all of our, our towns here uh, because uh, it's always going to be a threat here in our mainland. Um, you know, other enemies coming through here and taking these provinces, which really reduces your strength here. It just causes a mass amount of problems. We've had so many people attacking us over here uh, that, yeah, it might behoove us uh, to, uh, you know, have defensive networks and all these. Plus, I don't really know what we're going to build. Um, there's really not much else that we need. So, might as well, right? Uh, for this turn, we're going to go ahead and get that cold air. So, we can get a little bit more money per turn. Uh, we should also have this army. Um, yeah, they're, they're at 12 now. We're going to leave them as is, though. Uh, because, yeah, I, I want to get those knights here. They're going to be kind of expensive. Um, they're pretty pricey. All right. And did they leave? No. Are they they're besieging it, right? Okay, looks like they just took it. They took control of it. So, I believe that means that Marienburg has been completely wiped out. Um, the savages, the orcs are coming, not the sophisticated bunch that hangs out and captures dwarfholds, but the more royal boys that wander the southern bad badlands. Yes, a nomadic horde of extra fighty savage orcs are close and could threaten your forces. Best be proactive against this lot before more orc or orc leads them right into your realm. Okay, can I see them? 
Okay, they're way over here. I'm not concerned about them. Um, if they come into our realm, then then we'll worry about it. Uh, so we have met the Border Princes as well, okay? Um, and the Winds of Magic have changed. All right, and then I believe we got those Empire Knights. Excellent. So let's go ahead and switch out these armies here. I go where the Just uh, what I need is I need those guys. Uh, and then we're gonna give them two units. I'm not entirely sure what I think we have a crap ton of infantry So we could probably uh, we can get rid of some of them. Um, it'll be fine uh, We will get rid of just see who we want uh, to lose here Obviously, we don't want to lose anybody. Uh, we're gonna be keep, keeping our, our best units. Of course. I think that would be wise um, probably can give them a swordsman and a uh, Halberdier that's what I'm thinking. Yeah one one Halberdier the one that's you know the most weak and then uh, one of these swordsmen here and I think that'll work out nicely. Um, well, this guy's got got the banner. Uh, we'll do this guy instead. All right, so yeah, that is looking good. Let's go and change that out there. Uh, so now that our main army has the, uh, the knights here, uh, and I do want to continue replenishing here, so I don't think there's a really race to use March to get out of here um, because I want them to hopefully get, uh, yeah, it's gonna take a lot of turns. So get them replenished as much as possible. Uh, now this army here, I believe is going to be up here somewhere. Or we could keep them in our mainland as well. I don't know where any threats are going to be coming. I would imagine it would come this way. It's from somewhere. So I think we're going to move him over there. We could also keep him over here to build him up a bit more uh, too. Because he doesn't really have, doesn't have much over here uh, for units. He needs another ranged unit. He's very good on melee. Uh, and we have not a lot of money. We got a little bit. Uh, we could get something though. Like another, uh, I don't know, crosswoman or something. Let me just take a look here, here uh, at the, you know the difference between these two here. It seems, yeah, that these guys are the best one. Let's go and grab one of those up. Um, and that's probably going to be it. We could get two. Yeah, let's get two of these guys. All right, so that's going to be all our money again. We're spending a lot of money on recruiting units right now, uh, but that is fine. And I believe what we're going to do now, uh, now that I think we're done recruiting with this, this army for at least right now, is we're going to go ahead and change this up from the state troop levy. Uh, to something that's going to get us money, probably the taxes is what I'm thinking. Let me just take a look at public order. Public order is doing fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get taxes, although I don't think we're going to get much from it. 5% is is not much. Um, yeah, not much at all. I don't know what else we'd get, though, that would be beneficial. Yeah, there's really nothing, so let's just get our little, little bit of money we can get there. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and enter turn. We don't have any money to spend. Um, but yeah, I don't like what our current um, gain is right now. Uh, but it's fine. Uh, we're about to attack the vampire counts. That should get us a huge chunk of money, you know, from beating their their armies. Or, you know, that's the ideal anyway, that we're going to win. Um, and I'm also thinking that we're going to get a nice little paycheck for helping. I'm not going to just join the war. I'm just going to declare war on them. Uh, remember, these guys had been asking us to declare war for a while. Uh, so they might be still willing to give us a little bit of money here uh, for that. Let's take a look at what's been done. Um, who the hell is this guy? All right, just them. The Nordland, you know, they need to, I guess they got to cross into our realm in order to get to their other province here. All right, well, that is fine. Uh, we don't have to worry about them as of right now uh, because we do have a uh, non-aggression pact with them. Okay, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else here that needs to be, you know, uh, noted, and I don't think so. I think we're good to go there. Um, have we finished decreasing this down enough? No. We're going to go ahead and keep them there for now, I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead and move this army over here. And then our main army... Um, like I said, I don't want to move them out of our realm just yet because I don't think we'll get the bonus here uh, because we don't have an actual alliance with them. I don't think we have an alliance with them anyways. We might. They do always ask us. Let me just take a look here um, if we have an alliance uh, with this, this country over here, uh, which would be, is it Sterling? Yes, I believe it's Sterling here. Uh, we currently have, we do have a defensive alliance, so perhaps... We might actually uh, get the the bonus there uh, to our to be able to replenish our troops. It's a possibility. So what we'll do is we will we'll stay in our realm for right now since it's not that far anyways. We'll get in here. I want to make sure that they do replenish, and the next turn we'll move in here and let's just hope that they they continue to replenish here because we got to build up our numbers. I don't really want to go to war with them uh, with injured units. I mean, we're going to need all the power we can get. Uh, while over there. Um, as far as building something, I don't I don't think we have any money to really build anything. Uh, we could get something over here, uh, like perhaps a, you know, some type of defensive network or something, but I think it'd be better to build up in our main realm here. 
um, in our, our main uh, state. Um, over here, I kind of already know what we're going to be getting. Uh, we are actually going to go ahead and get the blacksmith and armory. I don't know why I built that here. I, I guess I was thinking that there was more than three lines of that. I think Bretonia might have a fourth line. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I think that's why I did that. But yeah, that's, that could be built here, opening up a slot in Altdorf uh, for one of those buildings that do require the full uh, five slots. So yeah, we're probably going to build that here. Um, and then we're also going to get the defensive uh, position. Uh, as far as which one we should get defensive first, I think we should go with Grunberg. Um, yeah, probably. Let's go with Grunberg. Um, build something up over here. Oh, we don't have the money. 1350. Okay, so we'll just have to, to wait. Uh, save our money for next turn, I suppose. We're also going to get a new tech next turn. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I know it's, I think it's something military inclined. Um, although what we really need is something economic, uh, because our economy is uh, not doing great. Uh, so Marienburg has been destroyed. Uh, I'm guessing they still had an army running around, and that's why they weren't destroyed uh, previously. Uh, so we did get the state issued weapon, so it is a military one. This is plus 10% strength for uh, any units with the spears or swords, as well as our uh, flagellants. They also get the 10% weapon strength, which that's their, you know, the damage that they actually deal. All right, so we're going to go ahead and, and have to get a, another technology here. Uh, let's just see what we want. Um, just, I mean, we could get something involving the, um, uh, you know, a cavalry, uh, could get something over here. Actually, I don't think we want either of these right now. This would be nice. Um, that would definitely, re it would reduce the cost of all our troops quite a bit. I almost want to get that just because we are having some money issues. You know what? I, th I think that is what we're going to get for right now. Let's go ahead and grab that up. Draft irregulars. Uh, so that our, our troops are a little bit cheaper. Um, just trying, I'm trying to get us to have a little bit more income uh, per turn. Let's go ahead and move our unit now. Um, I'm hoping that we will still get replenished over here. Okay, where are they at? They're right there and right there. Yeah, these are all the vampire counts. Okay, they have quite a few provinces, more than I thought. Um, and these here are von Karstein, the other uh, vampire count, or whatever vampire army. So we're going to be going through. Let me see what the best way if we wanted to come this way. Okay, so it looks like coming up here through this northern route would be the best route. So let's go and get moving uh, and see if we're gonna continue replenishing. Uh, it seems that we will. Yeah, because this army isn't a friendly province, so that's good. I was a little bit unsure about that, uh, so I'm glad that that's not gonna affect our ability to replenish. We did build this uh, as well. I can't get over here the, uh, damn it, the uh, town, uh, which, excellent. Uh, and what do we wanna get next? Uh, can't get the armor yet. We don't have enough money. Um, we could build up a guardhouse, and I believe that's what we're going to get. I think that'd be smart. Let's go and get a guardhouse, um, and that's going to be all that we can do this turn. Let's go and end our turn. So, I don't know if we're going to have any battles on this episode. Sure, seems like we won't, because uh, we're going to just get into this war with the vampire counts. Uh, so, non aggression pact with Midland. I am actually A-OK -okay with that. Um, though, let me just see if they're willing to give. Nah, probably not going to get anything from it. It's okay. I don't want to fight with my fellow Imperials anymore. I'm kind of done with that. It's time to fight evil. Um, so join a war against... I thought they were destroyed. Oh, they have another province over here. Okay. Um, nah. It's okay. You could deal with them. You know, you could do... You know, do your own work. I don't have time for this shit. Uh, if I had another army that was large enough to go down there, I, I would. Uh, I need that other army to protect against the beastmen up there. Uh, and this army is too small. So we did get a tradesman, income for trade. Uh, this is faction wide plus 8%. Um, okay, well, that's pretty good. Let, let me just see here. Oh, man, look at how much money we are making. It's uh, not very much. I, I don't know where he's at. Um, and it seems that, okay, he is also uh, able to upgrade now. So let's go ahead and get something here. I think we're going to go with the melee defense. He's already built up this quite a bit. Um, so let's get the hard to hit. Make sure when he goes to battle, he will last a little bit longer. Um, and it seems that this this was destroyed here. Uh, and I kind of want to uh, come over here and fix that. I, can't, I think we might. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do it, guys. Um, do we have another army that uh, could go up there and do it and lose less men? Not really. Okay, we'll use this army, I suppose. It'll be cheaper, right? Um, it's a 12, 12-man 12 army. Um, let's just hope that the beastmen don't come out uh, to destroy us here. 
So yeah, we can increase the size, and this will only be uh, 1422. Um, but we still don't have enough, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit. Uh, but next turn, we'll better get it done. Uh, this army here needs to continue moving towards the... Oh, there's a lot of corruption here. A vampiric corruption. This is, like, really bad. Are they gonna take attrition over here? Uh, is what I'm wondering. I, I wonder if we're also taking this down at all. Let me just kind of hover over this. It looks like we are taking it down. Uh, probably helping our presence and then as well as theirs. Uh, but you know what? We need to go ahead. We'll wait to declare war. We'll wait till next turn. Uh, we're going to try and get some money from, out of them. Uh, and, you know, you never know. They might actually be more willing next turn. Uh, especially if that army over there takes any kind of damage. I'm just going to move these guys as well. Nope. I didn't want you guys going into the city. But whatever. I want you guys coming up so. here. Uh, I want them to protect this this province here. Uh, because the Beastmen could come down here and take that. Uh, so I'm a bit concerned about it. Uh, there's not a large enough... Uh, no, I didn't want to build a browser. I wanted to go to garrison detail. Not a large enough garrison to defend against that. Uh, even with these troops, actually, it might not be large enough uh, to defend there. Uh, we might want to get some kind of defensive station here. Uh, let's go ahead and enter turn. And yeah, the, the money was heavily hit there. I don't know what happened. Um... Why we're making so little now. Maybe lost a modifier of some sort. Um, so yeah, these guys are probably going to ask us to join. Okay, they want a military alliance with us. Um, they want it really, really, really badly, too. So uh, we, we're actually going to decline this because we're going to be getting money out of them next turn anyway for going into the war. So uh, what, do, what do these guys want? They want us to... Yeah, they're still attempting to get us to join that war with them. They are willing to give us a bit of money for it. Um, however, I'm still not willing to do it right now. Sorry, gonna have to decline, buddy. Gonna have to decline. 750 is, is not enough for me to even really consider that, uh, because I can't defend my own realms against them right now. Uh, and the dwarfs did, uh, join a confederation with these guys here. Um, okay, that's interesting. So the dwarfs are getting stronger, uh, which I don't really see them as an enemy, so it's not really a bad thing. Uh, so our witch hunter did get income from all buildings plus 10%. Okay, that's awesome. Um, hmm. That will increase our money quite a bit with him being in this realm. However, um, I kind of want him to come over here to deal with the uh, the vampire corruption. How is vampire corruption in our other uh, province over here? I didn't even look. Okay, we have a bit of, of uh, the chaos corruption. So, you know what? I think we're going to send him over there. Although, it seems that we're going to have to wait a bit. Alright, we're going to have to wait till next turn um, before we do that. And I'm surprised he's not deployed. Is he deployed? Let me just take a look. Oh, he is. Okay. Uh, so, I uh, got the construction guardhouse complete. War declared between um, that faction and the Jagged Horde th tribe. All right. Interesting. Um, let's see if we can do this now. We should be able to. Oops, said it was 1,300. So, let's get ourselves a new settlement. We're going to colonize that. All right. Awesome. It's going to take them a while to build this up here. Uh, do we have the money? Uh, to build, no, we don't even have the money for that, to build a hamlet. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. And let's just hope that the beastmen don't come over here uh, and attempt to take this from us. Because uh, we could not defend it. Um, and I believe that would be considered, yeah, we'd have to fight. Alright, let's go ahead and keep on moving. Uh, or wait a minute, did we already move? No, we didn't move. Alright, let's go ahead and move right here. And then next turn, which I think I said this last time. Uh, we will uh, join into the war against the vampire counts. This should be one turn to attack somebody. Let me just try and click on this guy and, and see here. What are we looking at? Yeah, we're looking at one turn. And uh, we are going to take attrition all throughout there as well, which is obviously not good. Oh, wow. There's a big-ass fucking army in here. All right, we're going to have to fight them eventually. Uh, just taking a look at because I'm not entirely sure which, which one's the main. It seems that this is their main castle here. Um, so that's where their garrison is going to be the strongest. Although, even there, their garrison's really not that bad. I think we're just going to have to deal mainly with their army. Um, I think that's the main threat here. It's going to enter turn again. Uh, and, uh, yeah, next turn, we'll join against the Vampire Gouts. Uh, and we'll probably uh, fight them not long after, though it, it probably won't be in this episode here. Uh, so, a military alliance is being asked of uh, these guys here. I kind of want to agree with that. No, we're, we're not going to. Not yet. We will wait. Um, I need another army. I need a third army down there uh, before one of the, one of those armies in the north. Uh, we got to get built up a little bit. Oh, what's going on here? 
So it seems... Okay, it's just telling us about corruption. Okay, got it. Uh, that there's a lot of corruption in this, this state here. Um, really not surprising. Not surprising at all. I don't want the army. I want to look at the, uh, the state here. So 36% uh, chaos corruption. That's quite a bit. That's from those beastmen hordes. Um, so yeah, we'll have to get somebody there. It does seem that we're ticking it down quite a bit. Um, so there is that. Let's go ahead and build up the hamlet. And did we tick it down over here to 0% yet? We did. All right, so let's go ahead and get this, this guy moving. Uh, he's going to come through this way. He can help tick it down over here as well, though I think it's probably more important to get it get ticked down over there. All right, and that'll take it down by 1% as well. All right, excellent. Um, let's go ahead and move this army further. Get them into Weissman. Help defend that from any Beastmen hordes, uh, since we know that the Jagged Horde tribe is uh, up there. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a bit of diplomacy here uh, to try and get some money for you know our services in the war, because I, I don't do anything for free. Uh, Sterling here, let's contact them and see what they're willing to give. Uh, for us joining this war here. Um, so, join war against vampire counts. Yes, sir. They really, really want that um, because they definitely see them as a threat. Uh, and they're going to have to pay. They want it pretty bad, I imagine. So, uh, well, not bad enough. All right, well, let's see if we can get... What about 1,500? No, they're not going to give that. Let's see if we can get 1,000 out of them. Because we're going to join the war anyway. So, yeah, let's see if they'll do that. They will accept it. I might have been able to get a bit more. I don't really like messing with it, though. Uh, so, yeah, a thousand's not bad at all. Uh, really going to help us out here. Uh, I want to see if we can... Uh, let me just take a look here. Build anything, is what I was going to say. Uh, you know what we should be building? We should be focusing on on building defensive um, defensive networks up here. Though it seems that they're more expensive here. Or, oh, okay, it's all locked. I got it. Okay, that's understandable. Um, I wonder if we could destroy anything. Woodman's Hut. Well, we don't want to destroy that. That seems pretty useful. Uh, what is this? Weaving House? Probably don't want to destroy that either. And it seems that we're having public order problems here. So, yeah, that's not good at all. Okay, so yeah, that's a problem. We might have to actually stop taxing there soon uh, if that doesn't get fixed. All right, let's go ahead and I believe, um, yeah, we need to move our unit here. So we could come in here and attack. Um, there is the Heinrich uh, Himmler army in here. That's that big one. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm tempted to attack him to get the army dealt with, but it might be better to come down here and get the moot first. Because, and he might come over here and attack us. Um, let me just take a look at Garrison over here. So the moot has a total of six uh, units in their garrison. While the fort has a total of six as well. So, and it's the same garrison. So it doesn't really matter um, whether we attack there or there first. Um, I believe that they don't have anything defensive here. So we could probably just attack it instantly. Let me just take a look here. And I believe we could attack it instantly. So I, I believe that's what we're going to do uh, while their army is over here. Uh, it looks like he was planning on doing that anyways. So this should be a relatively easy attack. Um... Though they could have a backup army. So what I'm going to do, uh, I kind of want to wait till next turn to do that. Just because I'm a little bit concerned about there being a... Or, uh, wait till next turn. I mean, wait until next episode. Because uh, I'm worried about there being a backup army. Well, if, if there is, then we can just end it on the, the battle screen. Uh, and that'll work out fine. Let's see if we can attack it. Uh, because I'm just going to auto-resolve it. I don't see any reason. I know it's the first time attacking them. Uh, but, I mean, it's it's literally six units. This is not going to be a challenging battle. Uh, so, I don't see any reason why we should uh, not just quickly auto-resolve this. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, let's go and get it auto-resolved. Um, and then, hmm, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. Whether we're going to actually try and conquer the province. Because it's kind of a distance away. Uh, and it's got really, really bad corruption. Uh, and we got enough problems as it is. Uh, I, yeah, I think, and, and we lost a total of 13 guys, by the way. So, yeah, nah, not bad at all. Um, let me just take a look at what our options are here. Uh, you know, like I said, we could occupy. Uh, could, uh, loot and occupy. Um, could just straight up sack it, or we could raise it. Um, I, I'm tempted to just sack it and get the money. But that doesn't really help us against the vampire counts that much. Uh, they still have the province in their hands. 
So I almost want to raise it um, so that somebody else could get it. Hopefully an Imperial is the ideal. Um, could use the money as well. But you know what? Let's, let's, let's raise it. Let's raise it to the ground. All right, and then we did get... Uh, did we just get leveled up? I think we did. Um, and that's why we have these uh, new Zentler's Reich's Guard uh, unlocked. Well, and we got a Camp Follower, Wound Recovery Time, negative one. Okay, so I think that's n uh, one less turn. Uh, also got a new banner, uh, plus 20% for the speed of a unit. Uh, okay, I don't know what we'd exactly use that for. Uh, and got a Follower as well, an Outrider, Chance of Spotting Nearby Foreign Enemies, plus 25%. So we got a lot of stuff from that. Um, let's just take a look at our army here. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, and upgrade this guy first and take a look at his stuff. Uh, so what do we wanna get next? Um, there's just so many choices. So many choices. Uh, lore Master, Lore of Metal, uh, that's less cooldown um, for all of our powers. Uh, missile Resistance, yeah, probably not gonna get that anytime soon. Um, could put into another uh, ability here. Could make our troops better. Let me just see what we can get here. Uh, recruitment cost, attrition, that would actually be incredibly useful. The the attrition, especially if we're going to be fighting vampire counts in the chaos. Um, that's that's from all forms of attrition. So that would be really useful. However, I kind of want to put up our troops here. Um, though, yeah, there's not really... Melee defense. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, let's go ahead and put our troops up. We're going to get that. Although, what was the golden face mask? I didn't see that. Wow. Didn't we have access to this before? I do not remember them. I remember in the patch, they stated that a lot of the older... Uh, legendary lords have gotten new things on their tree because I guess the newer legendary lords have like an, a branch up here. So maybe this is brand new. I could be wrong, but plenty to us armor. Man, that would have been incredibly useful. All right, well, yeah, we're going to want to get that uh, soon because yeah, that's that's really good. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't even notice that. I should have uh, been paying better attention, but I think it might be new. Could be wrong, though. Uh, so I believe that is actually... The end of this turn here, though I did want, or the end of this episode, uh, though I did want to come over here and take a look. I don't think we got any new new stuff here. No, I don't think we did. But we did get a lot of new followers and banners, so we need to kind of decide exactly uh, what we want to get here. Um, you know, because we have the, wow, yeah, we got a lot of stuff here um, that we could, you know, choose between. Um, you know, we have the steel standard. I, I don't think we're going to get that, plus 20% speed on our current uh, army. I don't really see that being in the Outriders, another one I don't really see using. Uh, just kind of take a look at um, other things here. Unit experience, plus one for infantry unit recruits. That would actually, I, I would like to have that. Um, income from trade, plus 8% trade agreements. Yeah, he can keep that, because that's faction-wide. I almost want to get the militiamen um, in exchange for something here. Hmm... Maybe not, because there doesn't really seem anything that I really want to give up for that. All right, I, I guess we'll we'll leave it as is. Though, the Toll Keeper, you know what? That's not really that beneficial, because he's always on the front line. It would be better to give that to some, one of the armies that are, are currently fighting elsewhere. Yeah, I think th and this isn't going to benefit us immediately, because we're not really recruiting any units. However, we recruit units all the time with this army. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get the Militiamen. Um, yes, I want to remove it. Um, and that's that's good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get some of our, our other guys uh, situated before we end the episode here, uh, because we can give them, um, you know, some of those those uh, leaders, uh, or excuse me, give them some of those uh, followers and banners uh, that we have available here. Uh, so yeah, he has the, the tradesman, rampager, standard, and tollkeeper, um, which those all sound good here. Uh, just kind of looking at, he's charismatic. What is the other guy? Um, the other army here that's uh, this guy, under this guy. Uh, he's the treasurer, got it, okay. Let me just see uh, um, what what his uh, bonus is. Military heritage. Okay, so the other guy's better. All right, let's, let's make use of that guy then. Um, I almost want to get rid of this guy, not make use of him. Instead, uh, have a different, uh, you know, uh, leader uh, leading this guy. Like the uh, emperor, I would really like to get the emperor. Um, he seems really good. He's got a, a very unique tree, uh, so I kind of want to get him, and he's free. He doesn't cost us any money. Hmm. Maybe we should do that and switch these two out, and we'll just what, decommission him? Is that what you do with him? Let me just take a look. I need to select him again, because I think this might be a good decision for us. Uh, though I don't know if you can do that. You can rename him. In order to span this lord, all units within the army must be selected. Okay, so we can do it. Um, but he can't have 
have any units with them unless we want to get rid of all of them. All right, so I'm okay with that. Um, let's let's do that. We'll start working on that now. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves a new lord, uh, the legendary Emperor Karl Franz. Yes, that's that's what we're gonna get. Uh, just taking a look here, other people that are available, because I know that there's uh, Valkmar the Grim as well. Though you can't get that until you get the Temple of Sigmar building. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the Emperor Karl Franz. Recruit him though. It is gonna cost us a lot. That's fine. We gotta we gotta do it um, if we want to switch him out. Um, and I want to make sure. Oh, we can't move him yet. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I I'm, I want to make sure that we get that done in that next turn, so we don't have to pay for him for too long. Um, and then in regards to uh, the other guy here, this guy, uh, we will give him the stuff that I don't want to give the emperor. Um, so yeah, he can have the toll keeper. That's that's fine. Uh, we will also give him. He can have the tradesman. I suppose he can add a charge bonus too. Um, I think we're gonna give these to our emperor here. And it seems, yeah, that's good to go. So we don't even need to do anything with them. So we're going to go ahead and end the turn here, guys. Uh, we'll pick up next episode uh, with our war with the, against the vampire counts. And also, uh, you know, just kind of changing up, exchanging these out here. Uh, and then we'll continue building up our lands as well. Um, we actually might be able to get one of those defensive networks now, if we wanted to, like build one here. Because uh, we do have the money to do so. Uh, but we're going to wait to do that. Uh, but we're going to try and get a big army under the Emperor as well. The problem right now is money. Uh, I just don't have the money to do anything. Uh, which is, uh, yeah, it's a serious problem. Maybe we need to build up these other provinces a bit more. Um, you know, things that actually, like, bring in money. Uh, we could always build this, too. Get this up to a village. That doesn't bring up much money. Um, yeah, really not much at all. Wouldn't even pay for itself anytime soon. Uh, but that's an option, which might let us... Oh, we already have the weaving house. It let us move in to get the uh, clothes there, though. So, yeah, maybe that's something that we want to do here. Uh, but for right now, let's just go ahead and end the turn. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, then uh, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to leave a comment. I love talking to you guys in the comment section. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys.